In today's video, we're going to be talking a draw. We're going to be talking how to hit that draw. Every golfer wants to hit a draw. Now, one of the things I do speak to a lot of my online clients about is when to try and hit different types of shots. I'm not a big advocate for trying to change your natural shot. If you can stand on a tee and see a little bit of a dog leg to the, to the left in your right-handed golfer, you think, oh, this particular drive, I need to draw it, but you often fade it, I would be like, well, just play to the fat, 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 fat side of the fairway and then carry on from there. So don't always try and shape the ball too often because nine times out of 10, it will lead to the shot you don't want to play. Changing your golf swing, changing your setup, changing the type of golf shot that you naturally play is really, really difficult. It should only really happen at times when you desperately need it. Okay, so on the ground, I've got two golf clubs lined up. They are lined up parallel to the target. So if I wanted to hit a straight shot, technically that's how I would aim. Now, just to make this tip a little bit more difficult, I'm going to do this from a, a ball below feet hanging lie, okay? So make it a little bit more difficult for myself. Right, so I'm going to keep that golf club pointing pretty much at the target. What I'm going to do with this one is point it to the right because what I want to try and feel I want my path to move to the right of target and I want my face to be at the target so therefore my face is technically closed to my path okay that's how we start to create curvature when the club face is open or closed to path that's how we create for create curvature so if I want to create right to left curvature, I'm going to make sure my swing is more to the right of target and the face is towards the target. Okay, generally the ball will start where the face points and then curve from there. So one of the things I've got to try and do in my golf swing, and I always feel that you can't draw the golf ball without good rotation. If you don't have great rotation, don't bother trying to draw the golf ball. You probably already hit a fade. Focus on trying to make sure that you're hitting the fade consistent you're getting good compression and good distance that way if you can't create good rotation don't try and do it just by manipulating the arms because i see a lot of golfers trying to do a swing up to the top and then they just drop the arms in behind the shallow out the shaft and think that's going to be a draw you can hit a draw if the ball's on a tee by doing that but you're not going to get much compression particularly on a lie like this so we need to be able to create that depth in the backswing when you're when you're rotating and loading up the shoulders to the top of the backswing the shoulders are going to, the arms are still going to be in a in a high position i'm not going to try and flatten everything out i'm still going to try and make sure i've got a good takeaway as i rotate i get some really nice depth in my shoulders particularly my trail shoulder and my trail hip because what i want to try and do is bring the delivery position parallel to that golf club that's closest to my feet if i have my delivery position more parallel to the club that's cl furthest away from me that's a more neutral position relative to the target line which will produce a straighter shot so that little bit of extra depth in my rotation is going to allow the club to work a little bit more on the inside whilst still being able to compress so i'm still keeping the club in front of my body as I compress down into the golf ball. I'm not suddenly becoming super shallow and dropping the club massively on the inside here and flipping the hands for the draw. That's the, that's a, it's the worst possible way to think that you're gonna be able to make a draw. As I said, you stick a four iron on a tee, you could probably do that and get away with it with a bit of a slingy draw, but you're not gonna be able to compress the draw, particularly from a lie like this. So we've gotta make sure that I'm gonna aim pretty much at the target for this one scenario here the flags on the right side of the green so i wouldn't be trying to hit a draw anyway so what i'm going to try and do is i get i get that depth at the top of the back swing that little bit of extra depth and that nice loading of the shoulders i'm still keeping the arms in front of my body on the way down because this is what's going to help me with compression i'm just going to make sure that the club is a little bit is delivering to the golf ball ever so slightly from the inside and that is beautiful off a massively hanging lie that's kind of held its line it had it, it on a flat lie it would have 100 percent drawn on that nice rough super hanging lie it's held its line really really well so i've just in this instance counteracted the slope so once again what i did i got to the top of the backswing had that little bit of extra rotation a little bit of extra depth got the club feeling like it's still working from the inside and then got that clearance through the golf ball. The face was already square to target. 
and I got that clearance. Now, if I try and exaggerate, and that's the best way to learn something to start with, I'm gonna actually feel like the face is actually closed, so actually pointing left of target, and I'm gonna feel like my feet now are parallel to the nearest stick. So my feet are aiming right of target, my face is aiming left of target, and I'm doing that to over accentuate this, this tip. So I want you to try and do it as well. So I want you to try and see as much shape as you possibly can to start with. All the meanwhile, making sure you still get that depth, you still got the arms working in front of the body, and you've got that rotation so you can compress. tiny little draw and like i say i'm fighting this massively i've got the wrong club in my hand i'm fighting this massively from the inside and i'm fighting this slope that i'm on but again what you'll see from the last two shots is i'm still compressing the golf ball i've still got ball then turf a lot of golfers also suddenly think that because you're hitting draws you're not going to you're not going to hit ground you're not going to compress the golf ball we still I, this tip i want you to compress the ball from the inside this is not just a drop it with your arms and flip it we're not we're not there we're not in the we're not in the well 90s when i was learning this is a proper learn to draw golf tip again i'm gonna get i'm gonna set my feet closed i'm gonna set my shoulders my chest my hips closed as well with the feet i'm gonna set the club close to the left of target and i'm gonna get that depth delivery clear That was a nice strike as well. Better shot. Lovely strike. Oh, good distance actually on that one as well. So hit all three shots really, really well. Like I said, you're not going to see a lot of curvature because I'm fighting the slope. I wanted to try and really challenge myself on this tip, not just give myself a nice big slingy draw because I want to get that strike. I want to get ball then turf. I want to get that, that depth at the top of the backswing, but I still want to keep my arms in front of my body as I come down because what that does, it allows me to get that tiny bit of lateral into my lead side. Once I've got it into my lead side, I can rotate. We don't want to lose compression. Compression and quality of strike, we never want to lose it whether you're hitting draws or fades. I want to hit a compressed, beautiful strike into the golf ball. We can adjust the direction and the curvature of the golf ball through setup and through understanding the delivery position of the golf club relative to the target and the delivery position of the face relative to the path. If you can understand it, you've got more chance of being able to play it. Start with over-exaggerating it. Aim the face left. Aim your body right. Swing along that line, but make sure you're, you're not trying to go into this kind of drop it on the inside garbage okay we're not using this big circular action it's just not the way it's just not the way to compress it from the inside you can get on the inside you'll probably start to early extend but you can get it on the inside you can flip it for a draw but you ain't compressing it so that's the key compress it with a good ball striking from the inside from that draw if you've got any questions on this drop them in the comments section below if you would like a lesson from me andy at andycartergolf.com drop me a lesson inquiry and we can talk we can have a zoom consultation we can chat about how we can improve your game together if you're new to the channel please do hit the like hit the subscribe 65 percent of golfers are not subscribed to the channel so i'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and three golf tips a week sunday scramble every sunday loads of content see you soon guys